Shortly before his death, Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel wrote, Never once in my life did I ask God for success or wisdom or power or fame. I asked for wonder, and he gave it to me. The experience of wonder. Rabbi Heschel was a Jewish scholar, a teacher, and a mystic. And I want to talk about the connection between wonder and mysticism as he wrote about it and experienced it in his own life. In many ways, wonder becomes a gateway for mystical experience. So as I talk about that today, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel, as well as to click the bell so you're notified of future videos. Mysticism is often misunderstood. Mysticism is simply the experience of the divine in our life. It's an experience that people have in many different ways. It could be an inner voice, a sensation, an awareness. And when I say the divine, I'm, I'm using a broad term to convey the many different ways and belief systems that people apprehend that transcendent dimension of God, a higher power, the Holy One, Allah, the divine. And what Heschel pointed out was that that experience of awe, that experience of wonder, opens us in a way to experience life as filled with something profound and is the gateway not only for the spiritual dimension, but for our happiness and fulfillment in life. One of the things that Heschel wrote, a statement that often shows up on memes and, and is almost an affirmation, is simply, just to be is a blessing, just to live is holy. To be is a blessing. Heschel understood that our, our life, our existence itself is a blessing to us, it's a gift. It's something that grows and magnifies in us, that it's holy, that it's about our wholeness, it's about our completeness. And it's important to realize that the person who had this outlook did not have an easy life. He was born in Poland, educated in Germany, as Hitler was coming to power. And he made it out of the country, but family members and many friends were caught up in the Holocaust. He lost his sister and his mother in concentration camps, as well as many other family members and friends. In time, he made his way to New York as a refugee and started his life again here in New York. In New York. And in New York was a renowned scholar and teacher, and teacher specifically of, of well, of the Jewish tradition and of Kabbalah and of Hasidim, as well as spirituality and mysticism. And that comes out in his work. The experience of wonder was critical for, for Heschel. He saw it as the foundation for life. One of the things he wrote was that the beginning of our happiness lies in the understanding that life without wonder is not worth living. Life without wonder is not worth living. If we don't have that sense of wonder in life, that sense of amazement and awe, then we go through life, you know, almost as a drone, just doing the activities we need to do, that, that we work on sort of an automated setting that life becomes very flat for us. But it's wonder that opens us to something more. It's wonder that evokes something deep within us and connects us with something beyond ourselves. So how do we begin to experience wonder in life? There's a very traditional Jewish spiritual practice that's very wise and very helpful. And it's very simple. Every day, simply go outside and look up into the sky. Just look up and spend a few moments taking in the sky. It doesn't matter whether it's sunny or cloudy or raining or nighttime or daytime. 
just look at the sky. Because when we look up at the sky, we're engaging ourselves with something beyond ourselves. We're looking at something much larger than we are. And we realize that there is so much more to life than our minuscule lives here in our day-to-day -day world. Further, as we develop that sense of awe by looking at the sky, we also realize that our problems and worries and concerns are pretty small in comparison to the rest of everything else in the universe. So simply looking up at the sky is a wonderful spiritual practice to take us beyond ourselves. But there are so many other ways. It's a matter of our being open and disciplined to look. It's all about our willingness to look. So when we see a parent caring for a young child, we can see that wonder, that awe. When we see two seniors sitting together after 30 or 40 years of marriage, sitting in silence, maybe on a park bench, just being together, that's an occasion of wonder. Music, art, the, the animal world, and, and all the beautiful things that animals do, watching the squirrels play in the yard or our pets, flowers and trees, so many aspects of life are occasions for wonder. And the issue becomes, do we open ourselves to that wonder? When we do, we open ourselves to something more, something beyond us, something rich, something beautiful that helps us to encounter that sense of the divine as it is in the world around us. And as we experience it around us through that sense of wonder, we take it in and find that indeed our lives are a blessing. To be alive is holy. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, share it with others, leave me some comments, and know that I appreciate the time you spend on spirituality beyond borders. Have a great day.